Well, you've got cigarette butts all the way down. Today we're here at the site of the Daughters of Wisdom cleanup at the Maple Avenue Dock in Islip, New York. And this is Rosalie Mullane. Rosalie, can you tell me why you are out here today? Well, the Daughters of Wisdom are part of the project Keep Islip Clean. And September, towards this time of the month, is Coastal Cleanup Day. Uh, so we always choose a day during this week to come down and do a, a big cleanup here. And uh, we're proud to do this. We do this on behalf of the Daughters of Wisdom, who we love very, very much. And we have Ann Murdoch. Ann has been a long hauler, probably out here for as early as this project began. And tell me, uh, having said that, what are some of the things that you always fall upon when you come here? Well, mostly cigarette butts. Uh, I, I wonder if they still make ashtrays in cars for people to use. Uh, but we come three or four times a year. Uh, we pick up cans, papers, anything that's garbage um, along the dock and along the parking lot. And we have Lori Singleton. She is a staff member of the Daughters of Wisdom and a newcomer. And so, Lori, you are a resident of the town of Islip. I uh, sure am. And, uh, first time out here, but I'm not sure that it's the first time you've ever been involved in something like this. Tell me what uh, your morning's been like. Well, we've been out here picking some alcohol bottles and food wrappers and straws, plastic utensils, and besides zillions of cigarette butts, but, you know, at least we're keeping it nice and, and at least presentable and clean and a safe environment to bring our kids here and, and for even the fishermen and the fish. So, it's my pleasure. <laughs> and we also have Sister Anne Gray. Sister Anne uh, has been very, very active on the Daughters of Wisdom JPIC committee for as long as I can remember. Sister Anne, why is it important for you to be here today? Well, you know, we're in this very special season. Coastal cleanup is one, but we're in the season of creation, which is celebrated on October 4th. And what we tend to do in that celebration is um, revel in the glories and the beauty of creation, you know, but if, if we don't look around us and see what's happening to that creation, then there is a piece missing. You know, we have to find a way to bring creation whole and complete for our children and our children's children. What will they think of us if we haven't tried to turn things around? And uh, I'm so proud of this group because it's in the little, little things that matter. If everybody did a little, creation would be whole and not polluted. Right now we're standing on ground where we're smelling a heavy oil uh, residue from the boats in the water. You know, what are we doing to help end pollution in the water? Water which is a precious, precious item worldwide and scarce. Well, thank you, sister. Thank you, Rosalie, Anne, and Lori. Keep up the good work.